Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis using our software. I did the same topic in one of my tutorials using other package. Today we'll continue the same topic but using other package and our, our package name is Metan and you have to uh, call this package by using the library uh, function then um, submit to our uh, studio and let's say uh, something about additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis and the MMI it uses the analysis of variance that's followed by the principal uh, component analysis that apply to the sum square that are located by the ANOVA to the genotype by environment interaction. And uh, one of the most important purpose in analysis of uh, the multi-environment trail data um, is to identify or an identification of the mega environment. So uh, this mega environment is uh, defined as uh, like a group of uh, location or a group of environment that uh, Consistent, consistent uh, constantly or consistently uh, share uh, the same genotype or the same uh, cultivar. So, in addition to that, uh, uh, the other importance uh, of or the other purpose of identification of the suitable genotype with uh, both high mean performance and high stability uh, within the mega uh, environment. So, we will see the additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis uh, using R software, more specifically the uh, METAN uh, package. So in order to perform the additive main and multiplicative interaction analysis in the METAN package, you have to use the function performs AM performs underscore AMMI. Then you have to follow it by your uh, data name. So in our case, our data name is uh, data underscore GE, which is built in our uh, uh, software, then it's followed by inf means it is the column that contain the environment. Again, uh, gen means the column that contains the genotype, and the rep means it's the column that contain the replication. Then uh, finally, here is the resp. Resp means it's the response variable or the character to be measured. So there are a number of uh, variables that we may have in our data. So I am, I am interested in the GY, GY which is stands for the grain yield. So type this and submit to our studio, then you will get the ANOVA as well as the principal uh, component analysis. So let's uh, see the, our result. Yeah, so just run this one, then you will get uh, this information. So we have a total of uh, uh, eight principal uh, components. And again, here is the combination, as I mentioned before, additive, main means it is for the ANOVA of the genotype by environment interaction. And again, the together with what? With the principal uh, components. So we'll have here is the uh, source of variation. As you can see here, there is environment, replication with the environment, genotype and the interaction between genotype and environment. Then the remaining are the principal components. As you can see here is nine principal components are there. And um, the uh, the environment, the F value is, the P value is, uh, here is the degree of freedom, the sum square, mean square, the F value, and the P value. Then as you can see here, uh, all even uh, all the interactions, the, the soil factor are statistically significant. You have to see this one, the P value is highly, highly significant and even the principal component starts from one it is yes it is significant again principal component is significant principal component is significant principal component four is significant but principal component five is zero three point one seven generous is minus uh, one means it is zero point three one seven which is greater than zero point zero five so the four principal components are what uh, significant. So we can also predict or we can build uh, or predict our model by specifying the number of principal components uh, uh, and uh, PC which colors to four and we can predict easily. So these are the uh, 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 analysis of AMMI. Alternatively, you can use also uh, the same function performance underscore AMMI, your data name, the environment, genotype, the replication, the grain yield, then you can also get the same uh, result in this way. 
Then you can predict so the number of axes or the number of principal component to be analyzed for. The reason why I'm selecting the four principal components is obvious because the four principal components are statistically significant. So I can predict using the predict uh, function. So let's print it. Yeah. So by this way, also you can predict uh, by specifying your number of axes or the number of uh, principal uh, uh, components. Then, moreover, you can create the uh, principal components, uh, sorry, by plots by uh, combining of the granule with the principal component one using the uh, type one. So, in order to uh, create a by plot, so you have to use the plot underscore, then WAC means the model that's created using the performance AMM with our given data. Then the color of genotype is red, the color of, the color of environment is blue. And the color of segment is green and the axis is I just used 1.5 and you can change and the term you can select term minimal or term even the term methane whatever it is and you can assign also grid so type this one and submit to our studio then you can get this principal this uh, addition and many and multiplicative interaction analysis uh, by plot yeah as you can see, it's not attractive, so let's make some amendment in order to use this one. You have to call library ggplot, ggplot, yeah. Then let's amend it, yeah. So I think it is a, a good quality for a publication. So here is a GUI stands for the green yield, and here also the principal uh, component. So by this way, you can uh, perform the uh, biplot one for additive, many and multiplicative interaction analysis by combining green yield as well as the principal component uh, one. Then again, uh, if you want to, to do the principal component interaction between one and the two, so you have to use the uh, type two, uh, three method, uh, sorry, type two uh, method, then you have to use a polygon is equal to T, then the color of segment, uh, you can uh, do uh, the rest. So type this and submit to our studio. Then you can uh, get this um, by plot the combination of the interaction of PC1 and PC2. Let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's be here. Yeah. So that makes it more attractive. Yeah. So by this way, you can perform the principal uh, uh, component one and principal component two, 34.0 and 31.8 is around 60, uh, 65.66.2 uh, of total absorption is explained by the two principal uh, component. So by this way, you can perform additive many and multiplicative interaction analysis using methan package, more specifically using the function what you call it uh, performance underscore ammi so thank you for watching and don't forget to provide your valuable suggestion and uh, comment or question through my email as well as youtube comment box